Neighbors who helped a child hit by a car last night say the city of Bloomington can do more to reduce accidents at that intersection. The intersection where we now find Stephanie Rodriguez. Around 7 o'clock Monday night, a juvenile riding his bike here on the intersection of Allen Street and Oakland Avenue in Bloomington was struck by a car. Next thing I know, I heard my mom-in-law screaming out, call 911, call 911, this boy just got hit. After that, his, his bike ended up around the pole in our grass. I'm sure they got Anthony that. Long was at home giving his son a bath when he says he heard that a boy on a bike had been hit by a car in front of his house. He flipped in the air twice and landed on the ground. Long says he called police who came to help the boy as the driver of the car stood off to the side. But the young lady that hit him, she stayed, she was like in shock, she was crying, you know. Long says the driver wasn't, quote, flying by on Oakland Avenue like other drivers do. But as a cyclist, Rick Bozer says sharing the road safely requires effort from both. I know the speed limits are, are 30 miles an hour, and if you go much slower, people might honk at you or something. But you have to, you have to be alert to what's going on. Defensive driving, you know, who's on the street, who's around, uh, what's sort of coming up behind you or even coming across potentially. As for Long, he says a two-way stop here isn't enough, saying this one-way street really needs a stop sign too. I really think they should really put stop sign or either at least a yield sign on, on, on Oakland. After being transported to a local hospital here in the Twin Cities, that boy was life flighted to Peoria. Now his condition is unknown at this time. I have been reaching out to the Bloomington Police Department to get an update on how he's doing and how the investigation is going as well. They have not gotten back to me. Reporting in Bloomington, I'm Stephanie Rodriguez. Back to you. Stephanie, thank you. Sticking with Bloomington.